Alright, so, um, a little late, but it's time for Lip V2. So, I'm gonna flip this camera around, but, um, I got my, uh, uh, Voltex replica lip in the mail. I got the one with the, uh, extra little splitter, I guess you'd call it. Um, I don't think I'm gonna use it, but it was, like, five dollars more. So I scooped this one up. Uh, I figure if I ever do paint the lip, then I can throw that on underneath. But I'm just going to do it just like I had it last time. So essentially, let me flip this around. Here's what you're going to get. Um, along with a little bag of bolts. Where was that? Was it a dash thing? Oh, right here. So, actually, let me get a knife and I'll start opening these up. Oh, this bag of bolts looks like it's just... Uh, handful of self-tappers, which is cool, they're like black, pretty nice, they just fill up with this, so I think the intention is for this to just go through these holes into the uh, bottom of the lip, but um, I might actually use some for the back sides here, we'll see, I could count them if I feel up to it, but I don't think I care enough, so I'm gonna cut these open next, and there we have it, uh, Looks pretty straight from what I can tell. Um, I will say these come in a box that's like a little bit shorter than this and it's like bent in. It means polyurethane so it flexes and whatever. So just make sure whenever you get the box, um, take it out and let it sit for a day or whatever and it'll go back to the shape it's supposed to be. Mine was just like right here. This was just bent in. But other than that, it was good. But now it looks straight. Um, sometimes these sides can get wonky in and out too uh yeah but looks good not bad um so this will hook onto the back uh will thing will note is the evos you know have that little indent on their uh front bumper i guess it would be for whatever reason so this matches up pretty nice to that the rally art does not so that's gonna be a thing i guess technically you could fill that in make it smooth butt up to it but never bothered me so i'm rolling with it uh next up this point right here is we're gonna the is where this would go across the bumper and then dip into the evo's fog light on the rally art it's uh, like right here so this essentially you can lop this off just lop that off so that's gonna be our first step um and then for mine, this is about where your fog light is. The last time I did it, I uh, removed the fog light, put this, and set it kind of on that ledge the fog light sits in, or the fog light bezel, and then put the fog light bezel on top of it to kind of help hold it in. So I might do that again, or I might cut in front of it. Either way, that's kind of up to you. Uh, this guy right here, I'm pretty sure... I actually can't remember. I don't know if you cut this or this meets right up to the, uh, where the fog light little, or that little painted part of the bumper is. So the fog light goes from here to here, whatever. There's that painted part. And then this is where your, the evil grill starts. So this is the part that's actually kind of tricky. Um, you want to find the center, make sure it's centered, all that. And then obviously like what I started with last time is, uh, I cut this right here and then cut straight across there. But it's not not even close. I have to check my other video and everything. But I believe you're going to get out to about that much left here. And then the tricky part is you want to kind of arc it over a little bit. So it's not a perfectly straight line. You do want it to be a slight curve. But most of this is going to go off. I'm going to size it up, start cutting it little by little. And then I'll measure it and let you guys know how far you need to go in. But yeah, so that's the game plan. This, I might see how it looks, but probably not. I'm probably just gonna leave it. So, so I'm out with the car now. I want to kind of touch on why I'm doing this, and why I'm doing it again. So a lot of people want to know how I did it the, with the Voltex Evo lip onto a rally art bumper, and I'm sure. You could probably make it work for a Lancer bumper, but I have no idea. Uh, so, it wasn't my, like, original thing. Like, 
people have done it before me. I want to say I found like three on the internet with it done. Some are not done very well and some are done a little better. I think I did one of the best ones. Um, so, yeah. So, I've had that on for months. Um, never had a problem with it. I only used double-sided tape right along here, along this back, and then it was wedged between this fog light bezel and under there. Um, and it held like perfectly until I was, uh, I live in Michigan, so it's like brutal here right now. It's like 15 degrees outside. It's been like that forever. Um, but we had all these huge snow drifts and I was, uh, driving with my mate and I was coming home super late from a college near us. And, uh, I was going through these like two foot tall snow drifts or whatever. And it was just gone. I came out the next morning, looked at it and it was just gone. <laughs> So, I'm going to try to mount it on a little better. I kind of expected that to come. So, I'm now I'm doing it again. And I'm going to mount it better. And I can show everyone that was wondering how I did it. So, it sucks that I don't have the last one, so I can't see where I cut it. But, it wasn't that bad. I just need to turn on some heat in here. And then I can start doing that. Just took the Dremel and lopped these sides off. Um... As you can see, I just leave a little bit of that kind of radius because I think it looks a little nicer than just cutting it right here. Um, but yeah, you could probably go even a little bit more if you want it flusher, but I'm not sure how these corners have to be yet. So I just did that to both sides. And then about halfway through here, uh, I believe it's actually an inch and a half from this end. I made one cut there and that's in the center. So from this point, I can kind of arc my way down to this point and to this point. So I'm either going to pencil that in or lay a piece of tape and trace that line. And then I'll check fitment and see what needs to be cut after that. And then uh, I'll just let you guys know at the end what all the measurements are if you want to kind of copy what I do. Just another quick tip. Uh, I'm not sure this is the final cut yet, but... um. For those doing this, uh, so I cut this out, right, the shape I kind of want it, um, and then cut this center line out here. So what you can do then, flip this over, and then when you make your mark on this side, you can have the same uh, radius of a curve, because you can just follow that same one. So essentially, you're just mirroring what you did here. Um, obviously, this is not going to be happy, so you either have to hold that or just lop that off. But it's just one more thing you can do to get it a little bit more close. I mean... As long as you get it 90%, nobody's ever going to notice because it's black and it'll meet up to the grill and everything anyways. But the nicer you can get it, the better. So yes, there is one half about ready for testing. And this half still needs to be cut. So now we are out in the garage, obviously with the car. Uh, I got the lip cut for its first test. And you're going to want to take these guys out. Don't mind my uh, burnt vinyl film. So... Top corner of this, take this little screw out. These are super easy to take off if you haven't done it. A little hard with one hand, but. So, take that screw out, somewhere safe. Put your fingers in there. Just kinda give it some good tugs and it will pop out. It's kinda scary, but I've done it a few times. And they have never broke, so essentially you got all these push clips around here. And the one, don't take uh, this one out down here. That's um for aiming these guys, which I'm going to heat this up and take that off while I'm in here. But uh, yeah, so do that to both sides. You don't need to take the fog light off completely. Just so you can kind of lay this up in here, see if it fits good. And like I said in that last one, I had it where this was kind of up here and it was just kind of chilling on top of it. So, I might do that again, but we'll see. Rolling? It's super blurry, now we're gonna focus. Oh. Did it yell at me that my lens was dirty? No, 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 no. It was a super cinematic blur to focus. Good? Good. Okay. So, Joel came by, provided all the help I needed. Ah. 
Ah, I gotta go back. This looks like garbage. Sorry, folks. So here's where we're at. So you were here, Opa. So many people are asking. Like, what is this? They want to do the same thing. So where we want now is to show people where to cut. If you want to come in here, just like so. Essentially, you're gonna to need to cut this middle part, like from this corner to this corner. And about the center line I have here is what is that? Seven eighths of an inch, almost an inch. You can see it there. So that's where it hits this body line here. So it's like pretty far. I mean, like it started out probably up here. And then like you pretty much maintain that. Or I can just slowly kind of. So here's the center line. You kind of maintain that at about halfway or to an inch. But then curving here, it like gains a ton. So right at kind of the bottom of this curve, you're at inch and a half. And then off to about two inches. So just kind of mask that off. And then depending on your lip, my last one I actually didn't have to, but this one, I had to cut a little jog out for um, you can see right here, where the fog light uh, mounts, there's this piece. My last one butted right up against it and I could like pull it around the back, um, but this one couldn't. So I basically had to cut out a little jog here. The only thing you want to be careful of is going too far this way. And you can check that by just popping on your fog light covers to see if it covers it up. Like this whole section right here is covered up by the cover. Like the cover sits on top of it, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Makes sense to me. Okay, that makes sense. They'll understand. Um, so yeah. So essentially you just don't want to cut just enough off so you can loop this back piece into the fender well. And then I had this brilliant idea. Um, so I didn't want to go to O'Reilly's. Or AutoZone. I've done that. But you're gonna, you're gonna want some of this. <laughs> can you see it? That's well, all I can see it, right? Make sure to get the chrome one. Yeah. Um, just, you know, put on a mask or something. Don't admit to anyone that you bought this. <laughs> but then, it's okay. Because we put it on, come back over here. This entire, so this is where it meets up with this painted part. This entire part along the front here. And then I also threw in a little bit here that's gonna go up on that edge we were just talking about because I have a little bit of a gap there. I don't know if I cut it too far or mine was just bad, but I threw that there on each side. It looks super good. I mean, we'll show you when it's done. So now, I'm gonna take some 3M double tape, just a thin one. Thin bullet. That. And I'm... Nice. It's not in focus yet, give it a second. It's not in focus yet. All right. That was almost really cool. Okay, I'll do it again. Ready? Oh, it's in focus, crap. It's probably not good. Okay, that was good. Okay. It didn't have any sound effect, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we used the 3M tape, and I put it... Cameraman, come down here, please. Got, uh... Let me just set on the tripod. Oh, there it is. Yep, perfect. We've got it right here. Actually, do you want to turn that tripod down? Just crank it down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Right there. So we've got it right here, and I also have one, like, right here. I don't really need to show you. It's under it? Yeah. So then it'll set right here, and it'll set against this. Wait. Set against where? This, this edge where this guy sits. Okay. And then we're going to drill one screw in the defender liner right here on your side through one of the holes. So that'll be fun. And then it's going to be on for good. That's all for this clip. What's next? Next you're gonna see it on. It's gonna look straight fire. Or water. Yeah, maybe water. <sighs> so there it is. Yeah. Oops, I'm supposed to squint it at the actual oh, thing. Supposed to pan. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. So we'll do it again. No. Is that just a thing? Dude, it's, it's weird. So my phone's being super weird. But like, it's on there. I'm happy with it. We put the two, or one screw inside. Just to the fender liner. Um, that's about it, right? 
Man, my phone is not stoked right now. You just got 30 days for me. Supposedly. She's also probably on battery saver mode right now. Probably. Thoughts roll. It's very lippy. I like it. Looks good. Gives the oh, best it's... dance nation life, which I go for. There's like a stabilization that's on. Oh. That needs to not be on. But anyways, that's that. Okay. We are. Um, yep. It's on there. Mm -hmm. It's going to be on there for the next four years. At I least. Should, that your last one was supposed to be on there four years, too. <laughs> My last one was on there, what, two months? Yeah, where is your other one, Trevor? Well, my other one is uh, probably, let's see, 10 miles that way, somewhere in a snowbank that just ate it. And like 10 pieces? Yeah, like I said it a little bit at the beginning of this video, but uh, it's gone. I was driving home and it just kind of was doing some, <laughs> through some snowbanks. Woke up the next morning and <laughs> wasn't there. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so this one's on. Guess people can let me know if they have questions. I have a question. What do I do if I don't have a rally art, but I want one? Oh, you want to fit a Evo X Voltex Lee on a Cobalt? Yeah. We can make it happen. Just trim about an inch and a half off the front. Little slots for the fog lights. Slap that bad boy on there. What if I don't want to cut the slots for the fog lights? What if I want that fog light, fog light delete light? The fog light delete? Ooh. Yeah. Give you props for that. <laughs> but anyways, goodbye.